connector between the U.S. and China. Today I'm here at China Institute to learn about what business developments are happening here and how they impact the United States. The China Institute welcomed guests to the China Impact Speaker Series featuring Mr. John C. Tsiang. Tsiang is the financial secretary of the government of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region and visited New York to give residents a look at its latest market and business developments. We hope to promote it more and let more people know about Hong Kong, that it is indeed a fantastic platform, to, particularly for the SMEs, uh, to do business with China, to do business with Asia in general. While the distance seems far, Mr. Tsang is convinced that Americans will feel right at home in Hong Kong. Hong Kong, uh, in many ways, is, is quite familiar uh, to, to an average American. Uh, we, 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 we conv uh, one of our official languages is, is English, so it's very easy to, 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 to communicate. Uh, we are a free economy. Uh, we have no tariffs, uh, low tax rates. and. Those are pretty attractive things. Ranked as the world's freest economy by the Index of Economic Freedom of Heritage Foundation for the past two decades, Hong Kong has become an international financial hub, much like its mainland China's counterpart, Shanghai. Shanghai is a very powerful domestic uh, in, uh, financial center for domestic purposes, whereas Hong Kong, with our you know, open capital account, a convertible currency, uh, international expertise and so forth, we serve more of an international financial center purpose. And so we complement each other well and we will continue to do so for the benefit of the country. No matter what business holds, the real importance is on people-to-people -people relations. I think, I think cultural exchange is a very, very important aspect uh, in, in terms of promoting or enhancing the understanding of people. And when people understand each other better, trade follows, business follows. So that's a very essential part of, of, of all of that, that, that whole, whole, whole equation. So I think, you know, for people to get to understand each other is a very important first step, and I would really encourage that. We hear lots of news, actually, in the Western media about um, big China and China looming large. And I was wondering if you could help give us a little bit more of a nuanced appreciation of why Hong Kong remains special. Hong Kong continues to hold a very special place, and that place will, will continue to, to, to benefit both China as well as Hong Kong, as well as uh, all the other places that are engaged uh, in Hong Kong doing business with the world. For more info, visit ChinaInstitute.org. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Christy Clements.